Have you got a webcam? No, she wouldn't let me. She said they're naughty. Hello, hello, hello. How are we all doing? This could be a bit loud, actually. Hang on, let me just uh, turn on a bit more. It was weird. My Spotify used to tell me when people I was following, like, what, what songs they were listening to. And I followed people, like, even, like, James Gunn I was following on Spotify. Now it just doesn't tell me. And it says that you have to turn it on your settings to say, like, to see what, um, pe what people are listening to. But I have it turned on. And it, it just doesn't want to know, which is a little bit weird. Um... I don't know. That's just a weird little, weird funny factoid. But there we go. Hello. How are we all doing? Welcome, welcome. Today, ladies and gents, we are going to be doing a bit of uh, Advanced Warfare Zombies. Because, uh, it's got to be honest, I don't know what the fuck I want to play. I'll be real with you. I feel like since the new year started, I just haven't known what to stream confidently. I just feel like there's not much going on in games at the minute. And I'm really enjoying replaying Mass Effect at the moment, which I considered streaming and I could have done. And I might actually stream sometime later this week. I don't know. Do you see the friends have on the right side? That's what I'm saying. It's there, but it just isn't showing any of my friends. It's like telling me I need to add friends to do it, but I have friends added. So it literally doesn't make any sense. I don't know. It's fucking weird, Eddie. It's fucking weird. But 
Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like since the new year started, I haven't really known particularly what to stream. And I don't know. I just I feel like we need more games at the minute with stuff going on to just stream generally. Is that just me? Or am I just being a bit weird? I don't know. I just feel like these days at the minute, because I'm not even like playing games with my mates very often at the minute, because there's not really anything we can agree on to play, because a lot of games are just fucking dead. The most, the game I've had the most fun on recently is Gang Beasts, which is great, don't get me wrong, but like, there's something to try Halo. You know what, I might, I might actually do at some point, I'm at the point now where I'd actually consider trying Halo, that's the point I'm at with, with needing new content. That, that tells you what kind of level we're at, chat, if I'm having to say that, you know what I mean? Because I've always been against Halo. Not even against Halo, I've just never been into it, I've never cared for it. But you know what? When you're not really sure what else to play, why not fucking go for it? I might actually do Infinite at some point. I've got it installed, so maybe I'll do that. If, if Infinite is a good point to jump in with um with a campaign, feel free to let me know. But yeah, so I figured we just kick back, relax, and do some chill uh, Exo Zombies because I haven't streamed this in a while. I have streamed Exo Zombies before, haven't I? I'm I'm sure I have. I don't. I think I, I'm almost definitely sure I have. Um. But I figured it should be a good thing to do because I, I still really want to buy Vanguard. But I cannot justify it when A, it's over £30, and B, the game still looks shit. They've now added round-based content to Duranfang, or however you pronounce the map. But it's it's still like a side objective in the main map. They haven't just added a round-based map. So they still continue to take decent ideas and just fucking spew them out as shit. Which sounds brutal, but it's true. Like, Vanguard multiplayer is like passable at best and zombies just looks awful and I, I would not buy a cod campaign a cod game just for the campaign so once it gets a bit cheaper i'll cop it but not yet i just i want to be able to stream it it'd be something to stream but what can you do not a lot but i figured we do uh outbreak oh great my batteries are low well that's fine i've got a battery pack literally right next to me conveniently so i will get two batteries out of that ready for when my remote actually dies. Look at that, because I'm a prepared motherfucker. Um, I pretty much remember how to do the Easter egg in this, so I thought, as a bit of a chill stream, I'm just going to get my mic a bit close to my mouth so I can lean back a bit and relax. Just um, until help I'm just going to... Uh, just do the Easter egg. Even though, oh god, the movement feels so different now to modern cards. It's wild. Sensitivity is a bit fucking do lolly. Oh, <laughs> Wow, I did not think they'd die that quickly. Normally when it warns you about the batteries, they don't go that fast. But what can you do? They've gone that fast. At least that's sorted now. Almost always only buy COD games to the campaign. It's Could not some relate. Kind of some of the campaigns look great and I just don't play them for ages. It took me like six months to play Cold War's campaign and I'd heard good things about it. Should you plug it into the wall? Ew, no. I like having wireless controllers. Easy when your setup's got fucking 50 million wires as is. I've got a fucking tower power pack for my plugs and stuff. There's wires coming out my fucking ears. I don't need to add to that. Um, so, yeah. I will see if I can do the Easter egg. And if I beat the Easter egg, then I'll either do more Exo Zombies or I might do some Exo Survival. I don't know. I just fancy playing an older card and I couldn't really decide what to do. Um, I was thinking about Black Ops 3 Zombies and I might well do it again. But I thought, no, let's do a different card today. Let's do a different card. I know Ant Dude was saying do uh, Black Ops 2 Zombies, but I never played it that much at the time. It, well, I, did, I never really had it when it was the current COD. And I don't own the Season Pass. So, Infinite Warfare was overhated. The problem with Infinite Warfare was the multiplayer and zombies were just, like, attempts to recreate Black Ops 3 Zombies. Which isn't inherently a bad thing, but it means that if you don't land really good content, it's not going to be very good. And Zombies in Spaceland was really good, but the rest of the maps just were huge L's. They were huge L's. Um, and then multiplayer was like, I don't know, the, the multiplayer reveal trailer had like a fucking so a song that fucking slapped, but the actual gameplay itself was just, ugh. It's just very, very, ugh. The campaign was amazing though. Infinite Warfare's campaign is one of the best Call of Duty campaigns of all time. And that is just a fact. I actually just realised I need to move. Oh wait, no, the round number's over there. I don't need to move my camera. Pog. I just realised every time I, I clip this to the top right corner of my screen, it's never quite in line in that corner. There we go. That's more like it. I'm going to die. Hello, Ace Guy. How are you doing? It's only like £35 for a nine-year-old fucking game. Yeah, well, that's the thing. They still charge ridiculous prices. Just wait for them to go on sale or, like I said, go on like a code site and get and get it cheap. 
How have I backed myself into a corner here? How have I, how have I done this? How have I done this? I don't think I'll do the Easter egg today, everyone. I think this is already a bad idea. Rip Ethan. Wow, spoilers, bro. Spoilers. Spoilers. Imagine spoiling a fucking five-year-old COD game. More than five years old. Whew. But yeah, I just... I don't know. I feel like I actually need more game ideas for things to stream. But the problem is, I don't I don't tend to stream things unless they grab me. And if something had already grabbed me, I'd already be streaming it. Do you know what I mean? So I just... I don't know. How I, love I literally said a bunch of them in the, in the Discord to you. I did wonder why you didn't comment on it. G2A, CD keys, check loads of websites like that and just see Where if any of them have got switch? that. Ignore that. Lol. Ignore the spoiler that's still there. Imagine. Yeah, CD keys is really good. I did have an issue with them once where they didn't send a code that I paid for, but every other time they've been good. And they take PayPal, so if you have any issues, you can just claim through PayPal for it. And if you don't have PayPal, get PayPal. You should have PayPal. PayPal's good. But yeah, I just, yeah, I, I need more games to play. I did consider streaming Mass Effect 2 tonight, and the main reason for that was because I'm playing it anyway. Like, as soon as I finish streaming, I'll just go back to carrying on playing Mass Effect 2, because I'm just on my massive Mass Effect replay at the minute. Which came later than I thought. I kind of thought I'd play it before the end of 2021 again, but I didn't, mainly because I think the teaching placement. But, now nah, my mate got into it because of Game Pass, and I was like, fuck it, here we go, I'm playing it again. PayPal is dog shit. PayPal is not dog shit. It's far from it. Helped me many a time when I bought things from a company that swizzed me over. Where your bank wouldn't t would typically be like, oh, lol, sucks to be you. Play the original version of San Andreas on PC. It's like you never li like listen to anything I say about PC versus console things. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I've said how many so many times. If, I'd, if I can play a game on console, I will play it on console. And for San Andreas, it's even more convenient because I own the fucking original version on Xbox Series X. I own, like, three different versions of San Andreas. I own, like, the original Xbox version. I own the 360 re-release. It looks like fucking CG's got a Maltese ahead. And then I've got the the last release as well, the most recent one, the Definitive. I've got three generations of San Andreas on the one console. PC has San Andreas multiplayer. That's cool and all, but running PC games, remember? It's not a it's not a very simple thing for me, you know? It's not a very simple thing. Play Postal 2, very, very family-friendly game. I can barely get the word out. I've seen videos of Postal 2, it doesn't look like a laugh to be fair. Right, so we need to get the Easter egg started. And I do remember all the steps, just gotta try and remember the order for them. So first off, I need to put this black box in the in the desk thing, which is over here. I also need to get an EM1. Very well. Right, I need an EM1. Well, that's not an EM1, is it? A nano swarm. What is the option to get the OG soundtrack? Is there much difference? I don't actually know if there's any difference. Well, hyper damage is fucking useless because I can one hit anyone, everyone anyway. Ooh, the IMR. Ammo printing gone. That'll do. Round 100 stream? Unlikely. The highest I ever got was like in the 60s or 70s, I think, was it? In this? Or was it? Actually, I don't know. It might not have been. No, 60s was Black Ops Cold War. I don't know. What was my highest round in this? Might have been the 40s. I don't know. I, honest, I honestly can't remember. I probably There's probably a record of it somewhere. I think it's 41, actually, now I think about it. I think it said it on the main menu. So, yeah, 100 rounds is probably not going to happen. Where is the last zombie? The fuck? There you are. I would go straight and do the trash compactor step now, but there's not really much point. Where is my DLC code? What DLC code? What do you want about? There's several hours of music missing from the re-releases. Is there? I, I, yeah, there's... I think most of it was missing off the radios I didn't care about, so I don't think I followed it. Because there's a lot of radios I just don't care about in San Andreas. It's not KDST, or like a bit of K-Rose maybe. Oh, the EM1. Very nice. That's the shit I want. Need that for the Easter egg. Allow me to show you why you need it. Are you all ready to see my amazing Easter egg knowledge? I bet you're like, going to be like, wow, Troy, this is so cool. Get ready for this. Get ready for this shit. What we need to do is clear the little area out first. 
Boom, you EM1 the printer, and it gives you an ID badge. That's one of the four. We need to get all four to move on to the next step of the Easter egg. I'm going to do Decker's next, even though that's the most irritating one, because what it, you have to do is go into a trash compactor. And the annoying thing about it is that's a nuke. The annoying thing about it is it's really hard to get the, the card because you have to shoot at the ground in the trash compactor, and the card very rarely pops up quickly. It's very irritating. But with the EM1, it might be easier. Why are you asking if Ed taught me this? No, Ed did not teach me this. I am just knowledgeable on Advanced Warfare Zombies. I played a lot of it back in the day. I haven't seen the card flip up yet. Nope. Ugh. Paid A2 from like three months ago. I'll never quit on it. What the fuck are you on about? I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> this isn't sarcasm. I actually didn't know that. All oh, right. When you put wow so interesting, I was wondering. I was like, well, damn, bro. I mean, you, you, you're you watching. Like, oh, I don't know. But no, Ed did not teach me this stuff. Ed hasn't posted since he came back from fucking getting banned for posting NFT fucking porn tweets in, his, in the fucking Discord. Which was still hella suspect for obvious reasons. NFT. Yeah, he tweeted some. He shared some tweet that had NFT pornography in it. So he obviously got temp banned for it. Since he came back, he's not said a fucking thing. Distraction drone. Uh, actually, yeah, distraction drones. Oh, then again, no, nano swarms are quite. Oh, fuck. Well, whatever. They're pro both probably quite good. Uh, hmm. What I want is the cauterizer. Why is that a thing? We don't want to know. We we don't we don't need to know. We don't want to know. You do DLC giveaway code just fucking around lol. Oh right, no worries. Kennels, dog round, okay. I mean, I could try and do the trash shoot thing in the middle of this. I just need to try and get the fucking card to spawn in the trash, but it's just not easy. It's very irritating, as you saw. I mean, I have an EM1, which just fires a constant beam. So, like, it's probably one of the most likely guns to make the card appear on the ground, but you have to land it in the right spot, otherwise it won't work. Fuck out of the way, Fido. I just don't see it. Sometimes you just don't get it to spawn. I might have to restart the game if it carries on the way it's going. Because sometimes like, I only end up finding it after I restart the game and do a new lobby. It's just very irritating to make it appear sometimes. And I feel like I'm about to have that same problem. Which is going to really piss me off. Wasn't there like a part of an easter egg here? There it is. I know, like, the whole... All the Easter egg steps. Like, I know how to get the gold trophy in Outbreak rather than the silver one. Because the silver one, you beat the Easter eggs by killing a bunch of zombies in the last step. But if you melee them all, you get a gold trophy. Um, which I never actually got. So that would be kind of cool to get. But Plus, the gold trophy actually ends the game. Because when everyone solved the Outbreak Easter egg, everyone was really pissed off that you don't actually end the map. And everyone was always wondering, why doesn't the map end? The, the escape you're causing gets blown up. If you do the gold trophy and melee the zombies, the, the escape doesn't get blown up. You actually finish the map. Which I've never done. I only ever did it with the escape blowing up. So it would be very cool to do it the right way. Wait, they're not a one hit anymore already? Fuck me, the exosuit's weak. I thought it'd be much better than that. I was hoping that might make a bit of a difference to the health, so I could do it. And when they killed Ron Perlman. When did they kill Ron Perlman? They killed John Malkovich. They did not kill Ron Perlman. 
Imagine getting mixed up between your US actors. That's got to do it now. Come on. Just punching a bunch of zombies. The advanced warfare experience, ladies and gentlemen. Don't need security. I'm good. Let's kill the exo zombie. There you go. Or the EMP zombie or whatever they fucking call them. I guess they're all exo zombies. Well, they're not actually, because they're not all wearing exos. Shower thoughts right there. See, now look at all these one hits. That's what I was hoping the EM1 would allow me to get. Weaken all their health and then get one hit punches. Make life easier. Use the drone. No, because that'll blow them up. Vanguard Zombies now pause feature ridiculous. Well, they've only just added that three months it, bruh. Fucking game is so shit from the looks of it. It just looks awful. Wait, did it just... I thought I saw it. Maybe I have to use an actual gun. Ah, there it is! That's weird. It is here. Normally I'm much more. Oh, fucking hell. Got it. Use Exo Slam. I don't have that yet. I have to buy it, but I need it for the next step of the Easter egg, so we're all good. Oh, I'm glad I got that. I was really starting to worry I was gonna have to restart the level. Oh, thank fuck. Right, okay. This looks promising. Now I need to get the next stage done. This one's gonna be fucking annoying, but now I'm on the end of a round, it should make life easier. So I have to shoot this thing until it disappears. There we go, it's gone. And then you jump up, exo slam this. That comes up. And there's a card in there. Somewhere. Oh no, it's in that one. I'm being an idiot. It's in this one, isn't it? Yeah, I slammed the wrong thing. Okay, and then we just need the last round is on an infected round. Wow, I've nearly done the, all the Easter egg steps. Can I just talk about that? I'm running on round six. Epic. Right, so we're going to open this door. Okay. So I need to remind myself of the four button locations. There's one here. There's one here. There is one there. And then there's one up here. When an infected round starts, I need to hit all four of those whilst infected. Which is not going to be easy. But I have distraction drones, so actually that will come in very handy once I get infected. Oh, that'll end the round. Right, is it an infected round next? If not, I can just start building up points. Get me the cauterizer, because that's what I really need. Because I've got to start upgrading guns soon, because the upgrade system is much more involved in this one than in other COD games. Have to do. The Amelie. Good, good. Shit. I really should get Exo Health. Which is obviously the poor man's juggernaut. Should be obvious, but just in case it wasn't. Always prioritize them blue zombies. Good gun proceeds to shoot at the wall. What do you mean, bro? That's a violation. I won't have that. Don't be violating me. It's very mean. Don't be a bully. I don't like bullies. All right, let's gather them all up and then do a bit of a a bit of a mass execution. Whoop! Give me some of them beautiful little headshots. Oh, hello. Should have reloaded. Whoop! Look at that Monet. Look at this. I'm rich. Okay. Cool. Gotta be an infected round next, I'm guessing. Round eight's usually the infected round, round, uh, round, I think. Nope. It's not this round. 
Wow, I sound so knowledgeable now, guys. Can you believe how knowledgeable I am? It's crazy. Oh, hyper damage. That evil laugh is disconcerting at most, at best. And then I'm going to try and punch him. In case he causes any problems. Fucking hell, he could bring zombies to me a little bit faster than this. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. There we go. Should do ghost zombies. Ghost zombies does not exist. There is extraction, which is not zombies. It is cod, but you shoot at weird alien people. Which actually kind of sounds like Mass Effect in a way. It's close. Yeah, it's close. I never really vibe with it too much. I think I beat, I beat the first map that came with the game. That was okay. Extinction. Is that not what I said? Did I call it extraction? Which one's extraction? Fuck, that's the Rainbow Six shit thing. Why did I call it extraction? Ew. I'm gonna be sick. I wanna get ghosts at some point? Why? That's the question. Oh, great, yeah, printer broke. Love that. You do not have permission to access. Oh, Evelyn's here. Would you look at that? She said they're naughty. You know, I know she just spoke in chat, but you know, she's only, what, 28 minutes late this time? That's not too bad. Well, can't hear me. Better. Got <laughs> Thanks, speedrunner. Yes, I'm so glad. Where is the printer now? Oh, here it is. SN6. Okay, not bad. <laughs> You're fucking useless. Not wrong. SM1. This one's awful. Pez not bothering me. Sorry to hear that. You know I'm here if you need anything. You know I'm only taking the piss anyway, Evelyn. Jeez. There are some mods that don't even show up at all these days. Sad. Do you need perks? Sometimes the best offense is a good offense. You know? EM1 again. Fucking hell. Right, you know what? I'm going to get... Fuck you! Get away! I'm going to get exo health now. Uh, and then worry about the cauterizer later. Because I do want the cauterizer. I don't actually know if there is an easter egg to get the cauterizer every time. I don't know about that one. But I don't think there is. I think if there was, I'd probably know about it. Right. Exo uh, zombie infected round thing is almost definitely going to be next. It's normally pre-round 10, I'm pretty sure. I always thought it was round 8 or 9. So it must be 9. Bingo. Right, so what I need to try and do, I think, is a good strat. Because if the zombies hit me, even after I'm infected, I'll still take time off my counter. Because I'll only have 60 seconds to decontaminate myself. So I reckon if I gather up the infected zombies, cull a bunch of them, and then let one infect me, that's probably the strat. Because, yeah, I know I've got the distraction drones, but if they don't kill every zombie, and some of them start trying to break free and batter me, that could cause me a problem. What would be more ideal is having a camouflage drop, but that hasn't dropped from the supply drops. All I got was credits and an assault drone and another one spawned in now with a turret. But that's not helpful. Shit. Here we go. And boom, all four cards redeemed. Whew, that was stressful. I just like went completely quiet while I did that. Apologies. <laughs> oh, that's it. Now we're done. All I need to do is get 50 ID cards off zombies once I cash the, these four cards in. And we're done. Easter egg beaten. At this world come for us. You'll see. Fuck, 3D printers broke. Bollocks. I better wait for that turret to die out. I'm going to try and go for the melee one. It's not going to be easy, but I am going to try. Am I crazy? Yes. The 3D machine broke, it did. 3D machine broke, we got 1D, though. 
That sounds weird out of context. I was trying to do the boneless pizza meme, which is probably obvious. But wow, now that is a ragdoll. <laughs> Comedy. Why are there so many fucking EMP zombies this round? Fuck off. I didn't buy Exomedic after I died again. I'm a fucking moron. Just shows off how easy it is to do the Easter egg and then dies. Amazing. Well done. Ugh. I literally had it and then downed and then didn't buy it again. Do you know what I did at the end though there? I pressed LB and RB to try and do um, Ether Shroud from Cold War Zombies. Wasn't going to fucking Shit. save me. They're coming. Well, at least I showed you it was easy to do it. Just got to do it again. Ugh. Let's get the power on. Ugh. See, now it's probably going to end up being a lottery to get to the EM1. 20 quid now since I don't get it for a fucking century. Nice. I forgot about these characters are except for us. Yeah, Lilith is just really annoying. There is no sub-level 6. I mean, cool. Good to know, Lilith. Thanks for telling us. You don't get 100 points for the power machines, do you? No, you don't. What about the perks? I highly doubt it. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. There's one of the cards. I need it. I need it. I need it. I fucking need it. What the fuck was that aim? You fucking suck, Troy. Whoo, mama. I want one of those machines that like splurts the credits out. You get them break it every now to break every now and again, and they just spew out loads of money rather than hundred credits. I'd love it if one of them did that. This game looks so visually boring. It looked good at the time, but yeah, the graphics have not aged well now. But then again, this is like seven and a half years old now, if you can believe it. This is an old ass game, Evelyn. It's an old ass game. Not the graphics. It's it's re it's it is like it's relatively colorful, but they've turned the saturation down. There's a lot. There's a wide range of colors, but they're not like popping. But it's zombies. It's not meant to look like super bright. Spaceland was the one that kind of like did it differently there. Look around. Should be a ton of Atlas gear we can use. Should there? Where? I thought I just put the box in there. There we go. We're gonna need to upgrade the security clearance on all four of our badge IDs to get past the encryption. We'll have to find them first. Alright, we find them then. Also, I noticed that they started dropping the ID badges after um like, after I got those four cards, but before I went back to this machine here. So, I guess I don't need to go back to confirm it. They just start dropping the cards. I think you ran past the printer. I did, because I'm trying to get to the exosuit first. An orbital drop. It's how Atlas sends supplies. Apparently, there's a cut Easter egg hidden at around 1,000 or so in Zombies in Space. Was everyone ever, anyone ever got near there? Oh, they've got camouflage dropped. Very nice. Thank you. I don't want security. I hate security so much. Just fucking injures me. And then I don't get any of the points. It's a shit fucking thing, honestly. Is it not possible to get to that round? Says who? With enough skill and determination, you could. <laughs> Ooh. Right, let's get myself a decent gun and then go for Decker's ID card. That needs to be the priority. I do need to get, obviously, the EM1 from the box, but... 
that'll just come with time. I can't really do much about that, but I can make sure I get Decker's ID card as soon as possible. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, it wasn't. PUW might do it, actually. I need one more zombie before I can go into the dump. So where's the nearest? There we go. Thank you. Okay. And down we go. Please find it quickly. Well, no luck the first time, but it did take me like five times to do it last time, so it's possible it'll just come later with time. Shocker. Might open the contamination area now. So it's ready for the infected round. Spaceland is so goes, it's a shame Lee Ross got death threats over Infinite Warfare Zombies. Yeah, but everyone gets death threats over everything when there's people who don't like things. It's fucking stupid. It's sad that death threats are not like a rare thing anymore. Why over Infinite Warfare Zombies, of all things? That's so fucking stupid. It doesn't make any sense. Infinite Warfare Zombies was good. I mean, the potential... Well, I mean, it had, it had to have the potential to be good, because, like, you know, it was based on Black Ops 3 Zombies, so of course it'd have some good mechanics. And the first map was really good. Granted, it fell off like a motherfucker after that, but the mechanics were still there. I remember when this came out and I, and, and I, well, I had fun. Yeah, it was a good game. It's definitely underrated. People give it more shit than it deserves. Welcome back though, Honamaki. Good to see you. Hmm. What is it with the last zombie just fucking disappearing into the ether? Oh, there's not the last zombie. There's three of them, but none of them can make it over to me. Four of them! Five of them! Six of them! Slow bitches. Seven of them? Where? They're so fucking slow. Oh, what? Set up for another go. Okay. Bit odd, but I... What's in there? MP11. Oh, I don't think so. Where they keep the security dogs. Is it really? I thought they kept bananas in there. Fucking idiots, bro. All right, Toby Maguire. Got to reload. Low on ammo. Using a sniper is probably the worst thing for this death. the worst thing. Oh, shit, I might as well have tried. Need a good gun. EM1 would be so useful, sir. So useful. Get out of the way, dog bitch. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now you're just insulting me. Ugh. Do you think we are seeing the, be the being of AAA games falling from popularity? No. I just think we saw a shitty AAA game released at the end of last year. Do you think the next Payday 2 DLC campaign will need to pay 3 a bit or will it be separate? Eh, probably not. 
Payday 3 is probably going to do something completely different. Oh, then again, it would be interesting to see it all, like, come to a head. But we kind of already saw that in Payday 2. That's the point. They get lured back in after the ending of Payday 2. So I highly doubt... Actually, yeah, no. I, got, I, I stick with what I originally said. They're not going to add gaps in, I don't think. They might be able to, like, explain, a, like, a, any some kind of um, side character might pop up again in Payday 3 that we haven't seen before. They could do it like that. The City of Gold only had three heists. Yeah, but that's because it's not over yet. There's still one more part of the City of Gold campaign, which will probably be out in the next month or two. I mean, technically, it should just be the heist next now, but there hasn't been one after the Winter Ghost Tail Pack release, so I'm wondering if that was literally just a bonus Christmas DLC. Which is even worse, in a way. Because if it was at least part of the City of Gold campaign, you'd be like, okay, well, it's part of the normal DLC push just at Christmas instead. But if they've actually just done a DLC for the sake of releasing one at Christmas for money, then that's... Uh, I don't know. Also, I don't give a shit that I died here in case that wasn't inherently obvious. Just as long as I actually get Exomedic back this time. Nice. I need an actual good gun from the fucking printer to do the Easter egg with Dex Decker and Dexter. You know, we're playing the Dexter Easter egg. I want the fucking IMR, bro. Actually, that did get me the, the card last time, though, didn't it? And printer broke. I had a good story, if you ask, just hated the ending on the cliffhanger that we're never going to get an ending for. Oh, with the Aussies, yeah. I mean, it was a bit of a campy, like, kind of, you know, 80s film, end of thing, cami like, like, twist. It wasn't anything particularly, like, holy moly shit. I don't know how they would have followed it, but would all the zombies just been John Malkovich? Is that just, is that just what we're saying? That every single zombie would have just been a picture of John Malkovich plastered onto a zombie? Wouldn't have been a picture, obviously. They wouldn't have, like, blue tacked it onto the zombies' faces, but you get the point. Fuck me, I'm having even more of a hard job this time than I was last time. I keep thinking I see it, and then I just don't. Well, let's bet the next campaign will make some slight teasers towards side characters. Eh, it might do. It's not impossible. I might just survive this yet. You might. But you might not. I like it. I like it. I'm not convinced so the printer always moves to the same location. Oh, there we go, baby. Oh, the stomp is still recharging, apparently. Oh, I need to shoot the thing under the thing. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, beautiful. Master of design of guns. I think I was shooting the wrong bit, actually. Yeah, there it is. Come on. Pull him around here. Ow. Remember the other story tra tried to do Black Ops 4 and then abandoned They didn't abandon it per se though, did they? It just turned out that they had more of a focus on on the original 4 again because they kind of had to because that was what everyone loved and they didn't like... A lot of people didn't like Black Ops 3's ending was kind of fair, I guess. It was a bit of a weird one, them ending back in time with staffs. I mean, big whoop. Who gives a fuck, you know? Alright, just wait for this gun to print some more ammo. Gotta find some more ammo. Black Ops 3's ending was never supposed to be the end. Yeah, that's the thing. Well, they just kept going with it anyway, so... And now we've got Richtofen again post Cold War. Spoilers. What the fuck? 
Okay, I actually did it that time. What was that about? There we go. Well, at least I got the first card. Nano Swarm or Impact Grenade? Nano Swarm. This will do. Right. Rick Toffin is the only one that can return. It makes sense story wise, so I'm fine with it. Oh, yeah, no, I'm fine with that. I mean, it's Rick Toffin. It makes sense. Rick Toffin's always there. <laughs> Somehow, Rick Toffin returned. Just like fucking Palpatine, but not. Down we go. I am really starting to lose faith in me finding it in this match. I'm not going to lie to you. Then when I reset it, I, don't know, I just told you, sometimes it just doesn't work. Ugh. Ugh. Let's give it one more gun. I feel like I'm starting to get a little bit... Uh, like, I want to switch anyway. I might do some exo survival after this. I don't know. The Call of Duty zombie lore is more fuck than me, and that's saying something. I don't know what that means. It's more fuck than you. Are you very fuck? What does that mean, bro? All I've got is this stupid pistol. Oh, God, I'm playing as Lilith. Ugh. It's encrypted. Don't care. <laughs> oh. Right, so we got to hope that Decker's uh, trash cart thing, dump truck, trash, shoot, whatever the fuck, brain not functioning, and that step actually works this time. I know it was obviously working last time, but I just couldn't find it. And I feel like, like I said, sometimes just restart the match just to get it to fucking work. If you don't get it quickly, then what's the point? Plus, I didn't get the EM1 last game. I know I got the Corsarizer, but I don't care enough. Like, I'd rather actually do the Easter egg. You know what I mean? Such a weird pistol, the Atlas 45. Is it not? It looks like a really weird pistol. I mean, a pistol to have double handles like that. Like, that's just a whole chunky thing. Of course there would be no power. Of course there wouldn't be. Why would there be power in a zombies match? Come on. This is zombies. It's the Stone Age. More fuck up than me, and I'm very tired. Should record two hours of Final Fantasy Security Breach. Fair enough. I should sleep, but I'm fine. Maybe you should sleep, from the sounds of it. Let's get that exosuit. Let's get more self an exosuit. It's only 12.44 p.m. Oh, what? Like, what, midday? Well, yeah, no, definitely don't sleep. I'm going to sleep at nearly 1 p.m. 
That was an interesting noise she just made. Lucy based in the season 75, which is an upside down spare mag as a grip. Mm, yeah, that would make sense. That would make sense. I don't know why I went to try and go through the trash chute then. I haven't even got a decent gun. Troy brain power operating at 0%. Where is the nearest zombie? There he is. Oh, there's a whole fucking horde of them. Hello. Guys, look, it's the Red Archer Live fan club. I'm just kidding. There's more zombies here than there are viewers right now. Sad face. <laughs> fucking hell. Self burn. Those are rare. Any more? Nice. Boom. 400 points. Nifty. Although I am starting to wonder a little bit if my viewing averages really are starting to plummet. Payday 2 didn't do very well a couple of days ago. We didn't get out of many viewers yesterday for Miles Morales. Not getting many today. I know it's Advanced Warfare, but... I'm starting to wonder if there's a, a common trend, which is a bit worrying. And if there is, I'm going to fucking blame it on the teaching placement for destroying my Twitch uh, frequency. Because that is what it fucking did. So the last guy I watched who had zero views. Yeah, but obviously it's what I've said before. You know, you, I'm not being ungrateful for the viewers I have because, of course, I'm not. But when you're used to a certain average and you start underperforming, you start to be a bit like self-critical and wonder what's going on. Now might just be slow on Twitch right now. What during January? I hope so, but I do worry. Glad to hear it. Oh, whoops. Also, holy shit, that Last of Us 2 video did even worse than I thought it would. Woo! I didn't expect it to do well, but fuck me. I think it got 9 of 10, though, on the YouTube thing, like for recent performed videos. So there is a video that did worse than it. I don't know what video that was, but I'd be very interested to find out. You might be still coming down for the holidays, starting the new year at schools. That is true. That's a problem. Like, I could stream at a more US-friendly time, but it'd be ridiculously late at night for me. Which is just a note. Fucking hell, what was it the like then? Thanks to the host, though. Right, don't let me down. Come on, Bal. Find me the ID card. You could try ridiculously early. Why ridiculously early? Like what, 6 a.m.? Bold of you to assume I'd be awake then. The stream time is around noon to 2pm in my American time zone. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I tried to pick a time that, you know, it was later for the UK, but decent for Americans so they can watch as well. It's not easy to find a time that works for multiple time zones. Twelve AM. Wow, I'm streaming at midnight, bro? No. Who in the UK is gonna watch at midnight? I'm not gonna stream at midnight. Eight PM. Well yeah, today I started at eight. I started later than usual. But I've been starting a bit more loosely anyway at the minute. I've not been rigid seven o'clock start. It's been seven o'clock or thereabouts. I meant twelve PM. But midday? It's not a terrible idea. Wait. Thought I saw it then. Oh, I not really have a medium in my opinion unless you do what Katie's doing, which is a little nutty to me. I don't know how she's an exhaust all the time. Yeah, I don't know how she does that. But she's doing a lot of art and chatting streams. Like, I'd run out of games. I don't know what the fuck I'd do. 
Like I said to you right now, I don't even know what games to play most days, and that's with one stream a night. And double it, I'd be even more fucking clueless. What Katie does is, is ridiculous. I don't know how she manages it. I really don't. Like, all the fucking props in the world to her for doing it. I think she's crazy, though. 7 p.m. and, like, 11 p.m. she starts something. I can't remember. UK time? I don't remember. Fuse would be pretty easy to fall back on. Yeah, Fuse would be something you'd want me to fall back on. But I wouldn't want to stream it constantly. I get very bored. It's a good game, but I wouldn't play it constantly. You ever going to try Deathloop? I don't know. I've heard conflicting things. Some people like it. Some people don't like it. I'm not sure whether it'd be for me. I know I just want to drop 60 quid in a game right now. Like, I need to buy an Xbox a Series X expansion card, and that's like 160 quid. And that would really set me back. I can barely afford that as it is right now. And that's kind of more of a priority. I like it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I've heard some club things. things. People really like it. People don't really like it that much. It's varied. Just buy a hard drive. Yeah, but a hard drive can't run Series X games. That's the difference. I need one that can run Series X games. I already have a 4 terabyte hard drive coming on my Xbox, but it can't run Series X games on it. Fuse made me decide to get some DJ stuff, but that's because you're fucking addicted to it. <laughs> that's not a surprise to you because of how much you go on about Fuser. I'm not shocked by that. But not everyone's going to play Fuser and be like, oh yeah, DJ software. It's like how most people aren't going to watch Hawkeye and go, hey, you know what? I'm going to buy a bow and arrow. Where the fuck is this card? I'll fucking kill somebody in a minute. I swear to fuck. It has to be around here. Somewhere. What annoys me is I would have had the Easter egg done the first time around if I hadn't fucking forgot to buy Exomedic. That's what irritates me. Oh! Broken credits machine! Give me money! Oh, very nice. Gimme. Give Gimme give all of that dosh. Oh! Beautiful. Thank you for your patronage. And, whoop! Never seen that before, really? Yeah, it happens occasionally. It's not like a guaranteed thing, but... It does happen every now and again with those credit machines. I've not had it happen for a fucking century, so it's a nice change to actually see it happen. Right, okay, so now I need to do the infected one. I need to do the trash shoot one. Oh, come on! Even an LMG. I take an LMG. I just whack my fucking mic. I take an LMG. Got my assault drone still working. Didn't realize that was still going. Wow. Okay. Great aim, Troy. Fucking hell. Oh my fucking shit. Come on. Was the RW1 good in multiplayer? I feel like it was, but landing the shots was difficult.
Ooh. More money spent on DLC, more you crash fuse more often. Bloody hell. We started the fuser addiction again. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, I just feel like I wasn't good with landing the hits, Evelyn, realistically. I feel like, you know, it was probably a... It prob I think it was a one-hit pistol, but you can see, evidently, even on fucking zombies, I can't land a hit on a moving target. I'm not going to be able to do it with the in multiplayer, am I? Suck ass. Suck huge ass. Huge anus. Oh! Fucking hell. Okay. I'm going to try the same thing again this time, but actually not get smacked by them if possible. Oh, please drop a camouflage. That'd be so useful. Although I'm not even sure how I pick it up right now. Oh, it is a camouflage. How am I even going to begin to pick that up? I haven't, even, I haven't got anything to distract them. Fuck. Get off! You fucking bitches. I was just trying to grab the fucking camouflage while I was hidden, but alright, be a bitch then. Is that enough? Have I killed them all? One. Get off me. Two. Three. Four. Now I just need to do the trash shoot thing. Right, where's the infected zombie? Because I saw there was one living zombie still, like one non-infected one. If I kill the infected one, then I just have to dodge the non-infected one and I'll be fine. Yeah, see? By I exit minute this time, I shall. I'm thinking that's the ID card, but it isn't. How have I still not found this ID card? I'm trying so hard, and it's really starting to upset me now. not be this difficult. I, this, is, this is the one thing I hate about this easter egg. It's so easy except Decker's bit. And I literally said that at the start. Decker's bit is the one thing that makes me want to throw my fucking head out of a window. Just reduce it to pulp. Where the fuck is the 3D printer now? Where is the printer? Fuck off. Ooh, the AE4. That's not bad. And the cauterizer. Hello, baby. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime girl. Shit. Shit. Gonna die, though. Less ideal. A4 could do with upgrading, honestly. Kind of remember this being better than it is. Fuck, I literally forgot the button. So I just had to slap camouflage. Hmm. 
No, I was going to go and do the vent, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Ugh. Fuck this. Nice. You look of getting the card. Oh, well, I mean, I don't even need to roll the dice to know the answer to this question. It's probably going to be like one. Go on, give us a one. Prove me right. Oh, it, it landed in between my coasters, so I didn't even get a right number. 18. Lol. We'll soon find out. Apparently, I've got a very high chance of getting it next time. Let's find out if I have. If I actually get it now, I'll be stunned. Let's see, shall we? Need more than that. I need the fucking will to live. Because I'm losing that. Why do you need to buy the vent twice? Because you need to... Because that's just the way it is with the Easter egg. Otherwise, you actually go through it to like a different location rather than the trash chute. I just give up and just try and survive. It's making me very sad. And when I'm sad, I cry. You guys don't want me to cry. I reckon it's already appeared. There it was! I got it! Oh my god, finally. Holy fuck, finally. Finally, finally, finally. Oh, oh, fuck me. I actually got it. Sheesh! Hi, bro. Hello, Salvador. How you doing? Welcome to the chat. First time viewer. Hope you enjoy your stay. Dice was right. It wasn't quite right. It was the second time after I rolled it, but whatever. We still got it. Who gives a fuck? Right, so now... The extra cards should... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck me. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Now those extra cards should start spawning. The problem is, if I want to beat this Easter egg completely accurately, I have to get melee kills. That's not going to be very easy to accomplish. So the question is, do I just chicken out and go for the silver version of the easter egg where the map doesn't end or actually really try and go for the gold I would love to try and go for the gold to be honest with you how the fuck are they getting, fat, like, getting following me down the corridor so much faster than I'm going on round 11 come on bitches Yep. So we need to get more cards now. See, now it's 2,000 for the trash shoot. That's how I know that we're done there. You do need to open all doors before the end of the Easter egg, so I might as well open the last door that isn't open, which I think is this one, and then that's it. Let's get Exo Health. Just get, in get Insta Kill. Yeah, well, getting Insta Kill is not quite as easy as just saying that, is it, unfortunately? I wish it was, but it isn't. annoying as well. I have the cauterizer. That'd be fucking perfect for this bullshit. 
Alright, there we go. First one. That's the fifth card. We need to get all the way to 49. And then using the interface gives us 50. That's six. You don't get one per zombie though, I'm almost completely certain. So you gotta you gotta get lucky. And the problem is you can't use something like a distraction drone. Because if that like kills any of the zombies and you pick up those cards, you're fucked. I think if you kill any zombies by guns and they don't drop, and then you don't pick up the card, it doesn't matter. But it's obviously a huge risk. You know what I mean? And this is the problem now. They're all running at me like fucking fuckers. Yeah, they're running at me like fuckers. I don't know what that means, but that's what they're doing. They're running at me like fuckers. So I've got to try and tactically play this now. And I might very well just give up quite quickly. But I've got to try and tactically play this in a way that I can whack these zombies and get their cards purely from melee attacks. See, all I'm doing at the minute is knocking fucking limbs off. Even the crawlers take more than one hit. My nose is just so itchy. What we need is an insta-kill. But the problem is, like I said to speed on it, is that you can't just buy one of those. It'd be so good if you can. If you could. But you can't. I'm just glad there's no blue zombies. When a blue zombie shows up, I'm going to have an even harder time. You had to show up, didn't you? You just had to show up. You little fucking turd blossom. Oh, you bitch. Suck a dick. All I need to do is shoot the blue one. There we go. Right, here's the idea. Okay, now that's probably from a gunfire one. What I need to do... Why don't you play zombies who knows it? My nose just itches generally at the minute, I've noticed, which is really odd. How long does it take for the cars to despawn? Right, they're despawning quickly. Good. That nearly got me. A, I could have picked up a card off shooting that zombie. I just realised that wasn't very clever. Well, I got a card off each of those fuckers. Right, we got ten. This is everyone after your Last of Us Part 2 video. That's fucking true, jeez. No one watched that. Fuck me. Whew. I kind of expected it, but I, like, every now and again you do a non-payday video that does really well. Mass Effect got a couple of thousand views. The Wavelengths video has about four and a half thousand. The Doki Doki one has like 50k. Every now and again a non-payday video does well, so you... That's fine, it was a melee kill. But the problem is now, any zombies that were killed by that DNA bomb are going to be in this general vicinity and I can't pick up those cards. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck. If I suddenly hit 12 cards now, it's over. Oh, shit. Fuck you! the fuck? How am I even still kicking? Oh, you are such a bastard. I got it. I picked up a 12th card. Well, I fucked it. What can you do? Just got to go for the basic silver now. That's annoying. I actually was going to really try for that as well. Why are there two zombies just sitting down taking the L? That's very funny to me. It's going to make it much easier to get the cards though, I'll tell you that much. So there is that. Is, the, is it even good anymore? Yeah, no, this thing's fucking shit. I have to upgrade it a shit ton of times to make it even close to usable.
getting along nice and quickly. Now I'm going to have to do the melee version of it. It still annoys me, though, that I picked up one of the cards. I was trying so hard to dodge them all, but... It's just not easy, you know? It's not easy, guys. It's not easy. About halfway there now. Alright, 31 cards. Good. We're getting there. Nice. Try to see the bronze version. What's the bronze version? Just dying? <laughs> I don't know. What is what is bronze? There's only a silver and a gold. An infected round? Fuck, that's sooner than I thought it was going to be. Wow, how rude. Bring some more to me. Pass over the infected round quicker. Alright, there we go. I might watch it, but I'm one of the people that hate Last of Us Part 2, but don't tell people that they're wrong for liking the game. People can do whatever they want as long as they're not hurting anyone. Well said. Fair enough. You know, not everyone likes the game, and I get that. That's fair, but if you die by infected zombies, you can the character turns to a zombie. Yes, they do. That is indeed true. That is a truth fact to have shared. Oh, that dropped some nice cards. Look at that. Oh, but I've, now, I'm, now I'm infected. Great. Now I've got zombie di disease. Oh, there we go. I've got 49. That's it. Easter egg's done. Fucking hell. Right, now, so what I need to do is I need to find Lilith, Lilith's security pass area. Now, she's security officer, so she's going to be in this area, right? I need to find her handprint. Which is in here, I believe. Where's her handprint? Try to remember how exactly I do this now. Oh shit, power surge is good, but I haven't got a chance to get to that box right now. Power surge is fire sale for any of the, of the non advanced warfare experts watching this video, you know? The S12? Things are fucking beast. I love that. S12 and the cell 3 quarterizer. Nifty shit. Right, okay. Most people don't like they do the game, but who fuck gives about who does? What? Who gives a fuck about who does? Well, yeah, exactly. You just like what you like, you know? Right, so now I've, I've scanned my hand. That's done. Okay, so that upgrade station's up spawned down there, so now I can take the guns level 25 to so the level 20. Now we have to go out and get our rescue, which is going to get blown up because I didn't do the melee version, but whatever. But at least then I'll have done the Easter egg. At least I did it. Just irritating I didn't do the right version. There's our escape. Hey, everyone, let's get on board. Well, hey, let's get on board it. Oh, wait, what's happening? Oh, no, it got hit. Oh, guys, it got hit. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it got hit, guys. I'm so stunned by that. I'm so stunned. But there you go. That's the Easter egg done. Now I just have to survive. So now I'm just going to go for a high round on Outbreak. My record is 41, but I highly doubt I'll get anywhere near that. So we're just going to hang out. We're just going to vibe. Have a good time. 
Try and get this to level 25. Maybe upgrade the uh, S12 as well if I get there. That'd be good. Is the S12 any good still? I haven't upgraded it at all, but it might still be pretty good. I know this thing melts through zombies, typically. Ah, I could do with an upgrade. Shit. Just get me out of there. As you can see, that's what happens when you go through the trash chute without doing it twice. It just actually takes you somewhere else. Alright, bring me some zombies. Bring me the horizon. Yeah, now we're talking. Rip the head off this turret, and then I can spew in a machine gun at people. Scrap! Well, that's not nearly as strong as I thought it was going to be. Bring me some more zombies. Why? Why? Fuck me, this is shit. I expected it to be good. It's a fucking MG turret head. There's two maps called Outbreak, which hurts my brain. Yeah, but one of them's shit. Cold War Outbreak is ass. Advanced Warfare Outbreak is actually good. What do we do now? I already answered that the first time you asked it. We're just going for a high round. What a fucking nerdy way to reply to that. Up by a factor of two. Yes, that's what multiplying by two means, Lilith. Well done. So glad you had to show off your math skills on us. That's coming from a qualified fucking maths teacher. Don't flex maths on people. Just you, you, no, Nobody's going to find that impressive. Not even maths people. Vanguard generally improved Outbreak. What do you mean Vanguard improved Outbreak? If you're talking about Duranfang, that's not even Outbreak. It's a mix of Outbreak and round base shit. It's just a weird fucking map. It's just stupid. It's shit, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Ah, this should give it some more shit. Well, this could be a problem. Uh. Shit. I have a problem in a second. There's a DNA bomb down there. I could go for that. that Fuck off. Bitch. Wipe them all out. Right. Okay. Oh, I've got enough to take it to level 10. That's good. That gives me an ammo boost. Where's the nearest upgrade station? Yes, you are. Well said. Trick this bitch out. Actually, I'm going to get Exo Reload. Got to get that Exo Reload. Shit. 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 That was a double points there as well. That would have been really nice. Fuck! If I die now, I'm just going to get really upset. Get me the fuck out of this mess. Fuck the double points off. I don't care. Just get me out. Alright, I still need Exo Medic, but I kept all my other perks apparently, so that's cool. Thanks, Exo Zombies. Exo Reload's only 2k? I thought it was more. Yeah, we got Stomp, we got Health, we got Soldier, we got Reload. Yeah, there was Exo Stockpile, but that didn't arrive until Carrier, so we don't have that in this map. So yeah, I've just got all the perks. We're good. This game gave me an existential crisis. Fucking mood. What the fuck? Fuck them up, turret. Zombies, zombies aren't going to be good at dancing. They have two left feet. Sometimes they don't even have two. Sometimes they only have one foot. So I'll use the S12 while it's hyper damage. Ha. 
Did she really just say what I think she just said? Boom! I'm gonna walk away in slow motion now. Survival, Shino, Numa, and pause button tomorrow coming to Vanguard with upgrading your field game. Yeah, it's shit. It's shit. We've talked about it. All it does is add a fucking round-based objective to the map. It sounds like it could be alright, but why don't they just give you a round-based map? Why do they have to give you this bullshit where it's part of the, the other map? Why do they have to add things? Like, at least give us an alternate fucking survival. When Black Ops 2 came out, the, the only map that was in the game was Transit. But it let you do survival on the different parts of it as their own maps. Was, is that so difficult to do in what, Vanguard? They could literally do that with Shinonuma. Make it its own survival map where it's not tied to the main fucking thing. Done. Easy. So stupid. Like, ridiculously stupid. This doesn't make sense to me. It just doesn't. There was a version of the OG map in transit. Yeah, there was Nacked in there. You had to go off, off the beaten track on the bus path, but there was Galvin Knuckles in there. At least I'm fairly sure it was Galvin Knuckles. It was Galvin Knuckles, wasn't it? They were what was in there. Save it for the right time. <laughs> she says just blowing up as soon as she picks it up. What do you mean, Lilith? It was a jet gun piece in Nacked Galvers were on Dyna Roof. Oh, it was. I thought it was Galvers. What? We could buy Galvers in Nacked. Oh, well, never mind then. Is there a melee weapon you could buy there? There must have been a melee weapon. I swear. There, oh, was it Bowie Knife? It might have been Bowie Knife. I think there was a Bowie Knife. There was a melee weapon spawn in there. I know that with almost complete confidence. I think there was a secret Bowie Knife spawn in there, if I remember rightly, on one of the walls. You're thinking of Bowie Knife in the cabin near town. Am I? Oh, I don't know then. I don't know, Evelyn. I don't have a fucking clue. I like how now I don't give a shit about activating security because I'm just trying to survive. I'm going to do the Easter egg, though. It's annoying. Or on early rounds. Shit. Fuck! Really? I just find like the movement in this game, like the zombies catch up to you way too quickly. It's very irritating. I'm pretty sure I can't get medic again now, so if I down, that's it. That's be the fucking quickest survival map of outbreak we've ever had. I mean round 21 isn't shit, but it's not great either. Fucking leaping at me though, holy shit, bro. Should upgrade the S12, but it's a bit late for that now. I could start. Is it too late to buy Exomedic now? I don't think I can buy it anymore, right? Yep, all used. Shocked. See, the fucking S12 is dog shit. I need to upgrade it for it to be any good now. Oh, stop grunting, Lilith. It's very uncomfortable. Am I the only one who thinks their grunts just sound overly sexual? Or just gen Not even sexual, just uncomfortable. They don't sound like convincing grunts. They just sound a bit... I don't know, I just feel a bit uncomfortable hearing them. I don't even think they're sexual. They're just a bit... Weird, I don't know. Galvin Knuckles are on top of the diner, but you need a ladder. Honestly, this shows you how little I remember transit. I'm just not a, a Black Ops 2 Zombies fan. Or well, not fan, like, expert. I never really knew very much about those maps. Played a fair bit of town, but that's about it. Stop breathing? What the fuck, bro? It's a bit extreme, isn't it? Stop! I'm literally going to die. Oh, you fucking fat shit. I can't do shit if you blow out my exo. It's 
surprised I didn't just die there and then, to be honest. We just uninstalled the game. Been happy. Done. Rip Advanced Warfare. You will be missed. For about five seconds before I move on and play any other game. So you're meant to abide to me, give me comfortable. Says who? Sounds very forceful, bro. I don't know whether I like that. I'm just sticking to keeping the course riser upgraded, to be honest with you. I like the way it has a fucking target like threat detector in the in the reticle, like you need to know wh where the zombies are. The zombies in front of me, guys. Can you believe that? Look, the zombies all around here. I would not have known that if I hadn't looked down the a the ADS. Fuck off. the zone right now trying not to fucking get murdered. <laughs> I should go and get those credits from the exo room. I wonder if the vent here will take me over there nice and quick. It might do. But I probably should wait till the end of a round like with one zombie left rather than doing it at the start of a round because I'll probably just get ambushed. Plus I need to go over there in a minute anyway to get the uh, the level 25 weapon upgrade. So I might as well wait till I get that. Fucking EMP dogs now. Really? Down boy. They're all EMP dogs. Fucking hell. One exploding dog and a bunch of EMP ones. That's mental. Oh, I miss fucking playing as zombies in COD where you actually got ammo in your clip as well as your overall ammo when you were when you got full. Not having to reload in Cold War was a very satisfying feeling. I miss that. Alright, 25's not so bad. I want to at least make it to around 30. But I'd like to make it further than that if I could. Fuck the EMP zombies. They're so irritating, man. Like, it makes sense they didn't include them to try and nerf the exosuit. Otherwise, you would be a bit broken. But I think they should, like... I just think too many of them spawned in at any one time. And here we go. This is it. I'm probably going to get fucked now. I can't fight that many people off! That's what I hate, is that it goes from one extreme to the other. I can't even, like, boost forward to dodge zombies. And the corridors are too tight in a lot of the places, so you are generally fucked. That's what annoys me. You're either too powerful or not powerful enough with the fucking exosuit. Like, that wasn't bad. See, my highest round is 41. I'm almost pretty sure that was using a fucking out-of-the-map glitch, though. I'm not really sure that was a legit achievement. I think my highest is probably, like, high 30s. I don't even know. Why am I saying things about a fucking Attack on Titan bundle in Cold War? I don't know. That's the reason no one likes Exo Zombies. Now, Exo Zombies is good. It just it could have been a lot better, bro. It could have been a lot better. I don't know what to do now, though. I'm not switching games, because... What's the point? Could do Exo Survival, maybe? Question mark? I don't know. Hmm. Story mode? Nah. I don't think so. Why would I? I, I, I want to do the campaign, but I'd rather do it in its own stream rather than shoehorn it in now. We could do some exo survival, maybe. Fuck it, I'll do a round of exo survival. I'm not doing another thing of zombies because I can't be asked with the EMP zombies fucking me over. Try and get the riot map easter egg. That's fucking easy, bro. That's easy. I want to do the riot map easter egg. Bro, that's fucking 
easy, bro. That's fucking easy mode. Let's do it. Simples. You only have to get to round fucking 10. Plush laugh the awesome Gideon talking me through it, which is cool. Let's give this a go. Fucking hell, I forgot about how cursed the HUD was. Exo survival. Better than EMP zombies fucking me in the house. <laughs> We've lost three followers during this stream. That's so epic. It's not really. This is what worries me, chat. Like I, like I said, I don't want to be so hung up on numbers it becomes a problem, but average viewers are down a lot, and I'm losing followers every stream. Like, yesterday I lost one and gained one in Miles Morales, so it balanced out. But, like, I keep getting over 2,950 and keep going back under it again. I'd like to actually get to 3k at some point. But I'm just not doing it. And it's just, it's not nice. I don't like that. People have school now. Yeah, but that does that account for the losing followers thing. That's not good. I guess it could be residuals from from the giveaway. But, like, normally that, like, fades out by now. You normally get a bit of residual from people unfollowing after the giveaway, but that normally dies, like, a week or two after. I don't know. It's weird. Gideon, I want to shank up the Atlas Corporation, mate. He's on Atlas's side for most of the game. And then this, he's still on Atlas's side. I don't know what the fuck that guy was doing. We need to figure out the meta of January 2022. Well, according to Pokimane, the meta is watching fucking TV shows. That's not a meta. That stream is being fucking moronic and then being surprised when they get... Ooh, they, we got copyright claimed. Ooh, ooh. Can you believe it? Ooh. Everyone saw that coming and Pokemon's like, for the record, I expected this to happen. Then why were you fucking doing it? It's so dumb. Like, I don't, I don't understand the logic. I fully don't. It's like that meme that I saw that was trending at the same time, where it's like, um, I, streamers when they have to do something other than watch Hell's Kitchen while eating food. And it's a picture of Mort from Madagascar crying his eyes out. It's a fucking great meme. Why are all partner streamers streaming copyright TV shows? Because they're fucking stupid. I don't know, man. Why are they doing it? I genuinely want to know. Reaction content is great. Don't get me wrong. I like a good bit of reaction content on YouTube. But on streaming... Like, how do you... What do you expect to happen? You're watching a full fucking TV and movie show. And some of them don't even add anything. That's like what the meme said. You know, they just sat there eating food. You're not adding something. You're just watching a program. Also, I love how I just died here. I'm just not really focused, to be honest. So I'm okay with the world ending because of people like... What are you on about? That's, that's extreme. Pokemon is not a reason to want the world to end. And I don't dislike Pokemon as a person. I'm sure she does good streaming content beyond the IRL shit. But just, like, I just don't understand this idea that, oh, yeah, we're not getting pulled up for it. Like, Twitch has become so fucking mental with DMCAs. And at the end of the day, it'll be the smaller streamers who suffer. Because DMCA will get even tighter, and then we'll end up getting fucked in the ass for it. I mean, at one point, I went to watch a Doctor Who clip on, on my stream just, like, illustrate a point I was talking about. And that's just a clip on YouTube. That could have fucking done me in. At least I don't go, hey, you know what, let's watch a full episode. Might as well just do the Doctor Who watch along on Twitch, stream the episodes to everyone. Because everyone else seems to want to fucking stream shows. It's just dumb. It's just very dumb. Be a great way to engage the community. Kind of let Doctor Who watch launch. Just don't think it needs to be a stream. Exactly. It's a good way to engage the community. But on Twitch, you're going to get DMCA'd. It's very silly. It is very, very silly. The fuck is that? Oh, I meant to pick up Intel. I just realised that. Lol. Oh, he dropped intel. All intel acquired. Nice work. I'm so good at the game, Gideon. Don't even worry about it. Goliath. That'll come in handy later. Partners can get away with an actual DMCA violation. A 10 second clip gets someone perma banned. This is the problem. Like, you, you don't need to look any further about than fucking what's her name, Alinity. I'm going to throw my cat against the room. Twitch, I pretend I do not see anything. That was what, what, it was the way they handled some of the streamers that was what put me off streaming on Twitch for so long. Why it took me so long to move over here? Because I was like, do I want to be a streamer on that platform? Eventually just bit the bullet because streaming on Twitch is just so much better than YouTube. YouTube streaming isn't shit. Is the way like the mods make out. 
You get Evelyn being like, YouTube streaming, vomit. But, it, like, YouTube streaming wasn't bad. It just wasn't great, you know? Twitch is just much more of a functional site for that kind of thing. Don't we use 10-second clips? Well, I use audio quotes, but I don't think that's a problem. YouTube streaming do be shit, though. It's not, though. Enemy it's the thing. Canine units? Oh, fuck. Why have I used the UAV if it's just... Oh, it's not just dogs. There are people as well. Down, boy. I feel like I make that joke every time I kill a dog in a game. Go down, boy. Down, Fido. Okay, now it's a fucking grenade. Granada! There we go. See, now, if anyone joins the stream and goes, Ayo, streamer, this is not zombies. What do you mean? I'll be like, we're getting to zombies. The zombies spawn in in this section. The zombies in this were actually really good, though, because there was no fucking exo bullshit. It was just loads of zombies running at you. I actually kind of preferred this in some ways. The only age YouTube streaming has over Twitch is growing your channel. Twitch is terrible for attracting new viewers, after all. I am wasn't having that problem, realistically. I was getting new fucking followers. Like, fairly consistently. But... Just not at the minute. But yeah, that's why I did YouTube streaming for so long. Because it was good for building up my channel. Especially payday streams. I don't know. That's the thing as well. I just don't play payday too much casually. Maybe what I need to do is just crack up on the old fucking payday horse again for a bit. And just stream a lot more payday. Because that's what I did initially. I did loads of payday on Twitch. And then started to branch out to other stuff. And that worked. Maybe I just need to do that again. Do a bit more payday, because I'm not doing enough of it. I don't even do it weekly anymore, so that's probably a problem. Realistically, though, how many of these viewers came from YouTube? I guess most of them. Not true. There's quite a lot of people who've, who've found me via Twitch, I'm pretty sure. On here. There's a good Discord Twitch integration. hate these drones so much. But do you want to play Payday? Not constantly. This is the problem, you know? Fucking, just shoot these turrets down. Payday is eight and a half years old now. You, there comes a point where you kind of go, you know what, I really just want Payday 3 now. I don't dislike Payday 2 or something suddenly. I still love the game. But I have played it myself now since the Xbox One era. Because the Xbox One is when I really started playing it to death. I've been playing it for six and a half years. Consistently. Like at some point you're going to start wearing out of a game. No matter what the game is. You're going to get to that point where you go, right, fucking hell. It's eight, fuck me that old. Yeah, it came out August 2013. So it's like eight and a half years old now. It's ridiculous. A bit like GTA 6. Well, that's the thing, GTA Online. I, like, I've been playing that for even longer, and I'm getting tired of that now. I mean, it got to a point not that long ago where I was only really playing that for the updates. And that's true now. Like, I'm only, I only go on GTA Online for the updates, and I don't even play the updates much now. It's a point where I barely tried tuners, and then was like, oh, there's actually some decent stuff here. But, like, the most recent update, the Dr. Dre thing, I just haven't cared. I thought I would. But I played a bit of it and realized it was more of the fucking computer go go seek this missions. And I was like, fuck this, I can't be arsed. I don't want to do more of this bullshit. I'm just sick of it. There's just not enough unique content to keep me interested. It's just funneling money into it. Like, I want them to do it for fucking Red Dead Online. That would make me more interested because Red Dead Online is good. It has the potential to be great and Rockstar is squandering it. That's why Save Red Dead Online has been trending on YouTube for fucking centuries. On Twitter, sorry, not YouTube. There is no way in hell Elder Scrolls 6 will be a console exclusive, like at least PC. It'll probably be Xbox and PC, the way Starfield's going to be. It just won't be on PS5. Though I almost find it hard to believe that Elder Scrolls will be exclusive on anything. I know Starfield is, but like, damn, you know? I like how I haven't upgraded anything yet, by the way. Can we talk about this? I haven't done any upgrades. I haven't upgraded my armor, my weapons, nothing. Just being a true chad. Fuck off. Five enemies left. Which means two troopers or one trooper now. And three drones. 
Where's the last trooper? Where is he? There he is. Kaboom. Elder Scrolls 6 was announced in 2018 and still nothing. Yeah, because they just kind of went, yeah, here's what we're working on. And we knew they were working on it, so they just confirmed it to build up the hype. It's coming out after Starfield. We know that. That's why they haven't talked about it. Starfield will come out and then we'll get Elder Scrolls 6. I reckon Elder Scrolls 6 at the earliest next year, but I think it's more likely going to be 2024. Honestly. I doubt them releasing two big games year after year. I'm not sure I see that happening. EM troops incoming. Quick question, is the game already upgraded to Series X? Just found the basic game. What game? Advanced Warfare? No, there's no Series X upgrade for that. They're not upgrading like old games like that, really. Not often, anyway. The only COD games that have Series X upgrades are the ones that launched post-Series X launch, like Cold War and Vanguard. That's about it. Starfield looks boring as fuck, though. You've literally seen none of it. You saw a little cinematic trail that didn't give you any hint of gameplay. You cannot say Starfield looks boring when you haven't seen how it plays. That's called getting ahead of yourself, Evelyn. Says there are things locked after round 15. That's what's so funny. And you can't get past round... I think it's round 11 is the last round, or is it round 10? It's one or the other. I can't remember. It might actually be round 10. I don't know. It's one or the other. Fuck it. Who cares? But, like, I can't even upgrade my armor. Might as well just upgrade my weapon proficiency. Team, be advised. Enemies are using cloak uh, capabilities. Uh-oh. Use threat detection if you've got it. <laughs> Lol, I don't have it. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Coming through the fucking ceiling, bro. Came a voice from above, said, Hore, swim. This is your life. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We got this. The bow has never failed us. The bow will never fail us. The bow is probably going to fail me. Never mind. I'm just a chad. Give me a perk, bro. Stop. All it's doing is giving me fucking drops. Knock it off. Casually showing up late. Bloody hell, Chris, you're late. Sheesh. See, this is why the viewers are so down at the minute. The regulars just don't show up anymore. It's sad. Makes me cry. Chris, you made me cry now on stream. You've done this. Can't believe it. Was there an objective? Isn't there an objective every three rounds? Or is it like round four, seven, ten? I didn't see one pop up on screen. I'm just checking whether I was blind. Just cry and put it on live stream. Fails easy. Should do. Might actually do that, lol. Fuck off with the EM1s, bitch. Fucking laser pointers. If you turn to slide four on the PowerPoint. Right, one enemy left. Boom! Four drones. Let's get them out. Pro Gamer 64 right here. Giving you some advanced warfare tips and tricks. Welcome to my tips and tricks for advanced warfare. Would say I'm right here, but I'm making me feel bad for self-promo flexing. What? I don't know what you're saying. This is it. Friendly Goliath online. Bombing run I don't even know if the bombing run might just do it itself, to be honest. But let's find out. Well, it hit the Goliath, but it didn't, it didn't kill it. Oh, well, that's not ideal. I kind of thought it'd be a bit stronger than that, not going to lie. <laughs> Boom. Sensors are 
showing Manticore signatures headed your way. Eyes to the sky. Manticore. Hit the deck. And there we go. Team, report status. Report status. <laughs> Allied forces, this is Gideon. Does anyone copy? I do like this. This is quite good. Is anyone out there? This is Gideon. Do you copy? <laughs> Welcome back, team. Thought we lost you. Armories are down. Exos are offline. The EMP blast must have knocked them out. That DNA bomb should have taken you out. It must have been targeted only at hostile forces. But why? why? Heads up, team. Something's headed your way. Fast movers. Lots of them. Grab a weapon and ready up. This is so cool, bro. This was so much cooler than of actual ex exo-zombies now I think about it. It felt darker and more, like, scary. Rather than what we got. Waiting for the Exos to come back online. Shit. Okay, there we go. They're so cool when they leap onto cars and shit. It actually looks cool. Can we not have more of this, please? And not whatever the fuck Vanguard is. Well, shit. Out of ammo. Not ideal. Uh, any other guns nearby? That'll do. Tag 19. Oh, delish. That was a good shot. Here we go. Boom. And here comes the cool cutscene. This was a dope ass cutscene, bro. I loved this. This could be part of the canon of Advanced Warfare Story because Gideon survives. We don't know he survives this, does he? I don't think they did. Rip Gideon. Miss you, bro. Miss you, bro. <laughs> and there we go. You survived victory. Looks like you just added a few zeros to those bonus checks, gentlemen. Good work. I like how he just speaks at the end of it despite just fucking bombing it. Love it. Love it. What is this? Getting loads of pings about Vanguard, and I really don't care. Go away. There we go. Rest in peace, Gideon. Giddy, giddy on these nuts. Oh, for fuck's sake, Evelyn. Go away. Delete that. Right. I'm going back on Mass Effect, and I'm wrapping up the stream, because it's been about two hours, and I'm quite happy now uh, to cut it off there. So, thank you all very much for hanging out. I do appreciate it. Like I said, especially at the minute with there being less people coming to the streams, because it is really sad. Like, I am I am not, I'm not going to pretend and say I'm not upset about it, because I am upset about it. I would like more people to be hanging out at the minute. It's, it's sad that there isn't, but there's obviously reasons for it, and hopefully it's not just down to me falling off. I don't want the you fell off comments to actually be serious, guys. I don't want that. I don't want that. I'd be really upset. Um, 
So for those of you who are still hanging out, I really do appreciate it. Because at the minute, I am I am a bit gutted. There's not many people hanging out. So those who are sticking by and hanging out for all the streams, you're amazing. I appreciate it. Uh, but thank you for hanging out. I will not be streaming tomorrow. I said this in the Discord. Um, I've got my next acting class, and it's a really fucking awkward time. It's at like half eight. So I have to start streaming really early for it to work out. And I just... If I suddenly feel like doing it, I will. But I'm just going to say I'm not going to stream. And if I do, I'll be surprised. So chances are you'll just see me uh, Thursday evening rather than tomorrow evening. So I will see you all then. And uh, on the YouTube side, I'm going to get a Payday 3 video made just to try and up fucking engagement because holy shit, I need to. Uh, but thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. You're all awesome. And I will see you all uh, on Thursday with another stream. Before we go, who can we raid? I don't know. Is there anyone streaming that I want to raid? Let's find out. Oh, well, Casey's not even streaming. Shit. Um, well, in that case... No, not really. So I'm just going to wrap it up there then in that case. So thank you all for hanging out. I appreciate it. And I will see you all on Thursday. Thanks for hanging out. Bye-bye. <laughs>